Hello there guys, welcome back to another Epic and Extra Real Maths video. In this video, we're looking at the Maclaurin series expansions for Shine X and Cosh X. That is the uh, hyperbolic trigonometric functions, hyperbolic sine and hyperbolic cosine. So to find the Maclaurin series for most functions, as you'll see, or as you will have already seen, for things like e to the x, sine x, cos x, etc., the kind of most direct way to do that is to just use the formula for Maclaurin series that we derived. Link will be in the description. Uh, but you just use the formula, so you just take a bunch of derivatives and you see what the pattern is, and there you go, amazing. But as you'll find, once you get to these kind of stranger functions that are maybe composed of other things that you can deal with, Maclaurin series, I'm talking about functions when you differentiate them, they have their own Maclaurin series, the derivative does, and, and so we've seen that with things like arctan and the natural log of 1 plus x. But also things like shine and cosh, and, and cosh those functions are composed of exponential functions that have their own Maclaurin series. And so what we can do is really easily exploit that. So the obvious way to do this would just be to differentiate shine and cosh. And you can do that and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's quite straightforward and you could probably have thought of that on your own, right? What I'm here to do is offer you, maybe, maybe it's still obvious, maybe it's not, but another way to do it. So I've written out the first few terms of the Maclaurin series for e to the x. It's just this, right? Obviously, these are all factorials, 2 factorial, 3, 4, 5 factorial. I've just written them as the actual number, though, because it doesn't really matter. It's fine. That means that e to the minus x is the same series, but with the odd powers of x having a negative coefficient in front of them. Uh, and that's just because we're replacing x with a minus x. So of course, all it's going to do is just bring the minus out to the uh, front of the term, right? So like we, uh, we have a sixth x cubed here. Well, minus x cubed is minus um, x cubed. If that's the case, it doesn't really work when you say it out loud. But you can see that the, the, the minus power will come out when, it's, when you substitute a minus x in. So I hope that that's obvious. Now, this is the interesting thing that you can do. And again, maybe this is obvious, maybe this is not obvious. But it's, not, it's, it's certainly an atypical way uh, to, to do it, the, to find the Maclaurin series. So if you know that shine x is just e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2, then all you do is take the difference between these two and then half the result, and it gives you the entire Maclaurin series automatically. Um, and I think that's really interesting. And we can do the same thing for Kosh, but, but let's, uh, let's, do, let's do shine first. So all we do is we just do the first equation minus the second term by term. It's really that simple. So um, the Maclaurin series for e to the x minus e to the minus x, we'll half it at the end, will be this. 1 minus 1 is 0, so that gets ignored. x minus minus x is positive 2x. Um, the, the, all of the even powers disappear, so I won't even mention it. Uh, you then have a plus 2 over 6x cubed, um, and then plus uh, 2 over 120x to the power of 5. And all you can see that's happening, and we could do this with more terms if you want, but clearly, in my opinion, what's happening is that the even power, or the odd power terms, sorry, um, are doubling from the original e to the x, and the even power terms are disappearing. That's what's happening. So we're taking only the odd power terms, and it's always double the coefficient compared to the original e to the x. We now need to half it, of course. So I'm going to half this. And what will happen is that all of these doubles will stop being doubles. And that's why I've not simplified the fractions, because it's now easier to come back in and replace them with ones again. And so this is it. And then again, you can keep going with this, and, and you can get whatever seven factor, one over 3,040 or something. I don't know. Um, x to the 7, and it just goes on, and it's all pluses. So the nice thing about this is that, one, you've got all of them. You didn't have to do any differentiation, really, which is quite nice. Um, but two, it's really easy to see that, yes, this is definitely the pattern, um, and I guess it's just another way of thinking about it. So it's very fun, very cool. Notice as well that this is the same as the Maclaurin series for sine, but with sine, these alternate between being positive and negative. So this, if it was sine, this would be negative, this would be negative, etc. But it's all pluses. It's all pluses. Lovely. All right, let's do uh, let's do cosh next. So because cosh is very similar to shine, in fact, it's e to the x plus e to the minus x over two. 
we're just going to do the same thing as what we did before. We're just going to add the two series together. So if you remember what they are, you will know that the Maclaurin series for e to the x plus e to the minus x will just be 2 um, plus, and then this is going to be all of the even powers. And again, I'll, I'll kind of show it to you, right? So the, the 1 and the 1 will, will, will add up. The x, will, they will cancel. These will add up, so we'll get 1x squared. These will cancel, these will add, so we'll get 2 over 24x to the 4, etc. So uh, this is 2 plus 1x squared uh, plus 2 over 24x to the 4. The next term would be uh, 6 factorial is 720, so it'd be 2 over 720x to the power of 6 etc. And again, because cosh is actually all of this over 2, we need to half this. And so this 2 becomes a 1, this uh, x squared becomes a half x squared, this 2 over 24 becomes a 1 over 24, this 2 over 720 becomes a 1 over 720, etc, etc, etc. And this then is the Maclaurin series for cosh. And that's very nice as well. As you can see, once again, it's the exact same as cos but again, if it was cos, that would be a minus, that would be a minus, etc. But it's all pluses. Another way to see it is, if you've seen my previous video, uh, the derivatives of Schein and Cosh, because you don't even need to know what they are to do this. Um, if you do know what the derivatives are, then notice something really cool. If you differentiate Schein, you might know that you get Cosh. If you differentiate the Maclaurin series, you will get the Maclaurin series for Cosh. So the derivative of each of these terms is 1, plus a half x squared. This will become 5 over 120, which is 1 over 24. Am I still on the screen? I think I am. Yes, just about. x to the power of 4. And this will just keep going and going. 7 divided by 3040 is 1 over 720. So this is 1 over 720 x to the 6. And as you can see, it's the exact same series as the one that we derived over there. Voila! Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.